climate change is affecting all of us primarily through supersizing our extreme weather events, what I think of as global weirding. Wherever we live, our weather is getting weirder, but it doesn't affect us all equally. We've known for a very long time that poor countries that have done almost nothing to cause this problem in the first place are much more vulnerable in terms of the impacts on their food, their water, their health, having a safe place to live than rich countries. But now we know that even within our own countries and within our own cities where we live, how you're impacted by the same heat wave or the same heavy rain event or the same wildfire, the same flood can really depend on what neighborhood you live in. So it's a lot cheaper often to buy a house in a flood zone. But you know why? It's because when it rains, that's the first place to flood. It's a lot cheaper to live in a low-income neighborhood where you don't have a lot of parks or green space or trees or vegetation, it might be close to a major highway or an industrial area. Well, those areas have very high air pollution levels that affect your physical and your mental health. When there's a heat wave, those areas can be up to 15 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than an area in the same town that has lots of green space. Imagine what that does for your health, for your energy bills, and more. So we know that climate change affects us all, but it doesn't affect us equally or fairly. And that's why there's so much that we can do to help people prepare and adapt, even in the cities where we live. 